Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at an activity where you're going to be graphing the relationships of what's happening during a roller coaster to the kinetic potential thermal and total energy. So you'll notice here that there is an image of a roller coaster included. There are some versions of this activity where you make your own or you can import your own. But we're just going to look at one that's already uh, generated here to start. All right, so let's look at some of these assumptions. We're going to assume that we start with 100 joules of potential energy. So that tells me right away that I can put in 100 joules of potential energy here at point A. Hmm, what does that mean about the total energy? Well, I know energy can't be created or destroyed. And it tells me we did not yet start to move at point A. So that means kinetic energy should be zero. Um, and since this is supposed to be the starting point, like we just came off those electric click, 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 click. And we're at the top of that first hill. So because this is like our starting point, we're going to say that there's zero thermal energy at this point. So all the total energy of 100 joules that we start with, all of that is currently in the format of potential energy. Now, there's this law called the law of conservation of energy that says that energy can't be created or destroyed, only transferred. So if we look at a tool like Energy Skate Park, we can see that the total energy bar stays the same no matter how many times he goes back and forth. And that's true even if we, we allow for friction to occur, you still see that the total energy stays the same. Hmm. What does that mean for the total energy at these five different points? It means it should stay the same. So I'm going to draw in 100 joules of energy at each of these five bars because I know that energy can't be created or destroyed, only transferred. So that means the total amount of energy has to stay the same. If I started with 100, I got to end with 100 is what that means. Okay, now let's look back at that skate park. What's happening to the thermal energy? Let me start them over. I want you to watch this red thermal energy bar. What do you observe? It's going up over time, right? The longer he's going back and forth, the more thermal energy. All right, how do we apply that to our roller coaster? Hmm, well, I would assume that the longer the wheels are rolling across the track, I'm going to have more energy transferred into thermal energy. And I'm going to pick a different color for thermal energy. I'm going to pick red because it's heat <laughs> and it's hot. All right. So at point A, we said it hasn't really started moving yet. So therefore, I'm going to keep the thermal energy at zero. But it doesn't really matter what number we pick, but we want to keep the thermal energy going up slightly more in each of these pictures, okay? Because we want to show, ooh, look at that, it gets darker. We want to show that thermal energy is slowly increasing over time. Now comes the hard part. The hard part is deciding what to do with kinetic and potential. Well, I know that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So that means in this picture here, I have about 10 joules of thermal energy. And I know the total energy that I had is 100. I'm gonna go ahead and put some numbers in here. So if this is 10, and this one was 100, What I know now is that really the kinetic plus potential must equal 90. And how I know that is because energy can't be created or destroyed, only transferred. So 
if there's 10 joules of thermal energy, that must mean that um, these two make up 90, because this plus this plus this equals 100. And you can see that here. So at any point, if I were to pause him, you would see kinetic plus potential plus thermal equals the height of total. So basically, if I set these three bars on top of each other, it would be the same height as the yellow total energy bar. So I know that somehow I've got to have this be add up to 90. Hmm. Well, I know this point at point A had 100 joules of potential energy. I know that has to do with height. This is about half the height as it was. So what do you think that potential energy should be? About half. So maybe now that means my potential energy should be around 50, right? So here's my potential energy bar right around 50. So now how much energy do I have left? So these two add up to 60, um, well then therefore this must go to, must go to 40. Because I know 40 plus 50 plus 10 equals 100. So I now have all the energy accounted for. I'm showing it's not being created, it's not being destroyed, it's just being transferred from these, within these three. Okay. In this one here, you can see that there was 100 joules of potential energy and 100 joules of total energy. So we've accounted for all of the energy. Make sure on each of the graphs that you make that um, if we were to add kinetic plus potential plus thermal, it is equal to the 100 joules of total energy that we started with. Okay, So I now want you to apply this situation to these other three graphs or to your own roller coaster if you made your own. Okay. Please note that if it's lower, it should have lower potential energy. And if it's moving fast, it has a lot of kinetic energy. Good luck.